team is covered in paint here with another episode of Chuck Your Cat on your lap. I hope you guys are doing good. It's nice to check back with another LA vlog. Today I've got some things to share with you. First off, excuse my voice. I'm kind of losing it due to like talking to campers all week, singing camper songs. Baby shark do 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 do, baby shark do 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 do. I thought I finished my website. I hope you guys saw that video. I posted it last Monday. Oh my gosh, what a relief to finally be done with that thing. I'm looking forward to posting new storyboard sequences up, and that's kind of what I'm at right now is the let's make some more stuff for my portfolio stage. Yay! It'll be good to start making some new work to put on there. I wanted to share with you guys some cool stuff on my amazing adventures here in LA. Um, there's a grocery store last summer when I was in the Bay Area that I really liked called Mitsua. And there's a smaller version of it here nearby my house and so I was there yesterday shopping and I bought some funny things that I wanted to share with you guys. This custard chocolates. There's only one left because I've already eaten them all. They're like these tiny little egg dudes. Have you guys seen these? They're super popular right now. Anyway, the chocolates are really good. Another thing I bought, are you ready for this? It's for the summer and it's what you eat it when it's hot. Or you eat it when you're hot and it's cold and I'm really excited to make my own shaved eyes. Hey! This is all I'm gonna eat. I won't use the air conditioning anymore. I'll just eat shaved ice. Other than that, it's kind of like the quick update with my life. I just want to put something more interesting in this video. I'm gonna do a book overview with you guys. I had a meeting with this storyboard artist and he was looking at my work and he's like, you know, I'd really recommend this book and I'm like ready to write it down and he's like how to draw comics the Marvel way. The library had it and now let's learn how to draw comics the Marvel way. Welcome to my lab. Let's read. Always remember every pose has a certain rhythm to it. Now let's study some figures in motion and see which we liked and which ones we don't. This one, I would definitely do this kind of pose, but look how I could have pushed it. So this is really good. Maybe I should do some pushing exercises. So I'm going to draw a gesture of a pose and then I'm going to push it. So we've got the one, one. Let's try a different one. I'm doing like one of those flying sidekicks or something. Let's see how we can push it. Wow, seeing how those are different, I feel like that. I feel like I've really learned a lot just drawing a pose once and then drawing it again. Well, I think that wraps things up, don't you? I hope you guys enjoyed looking through the book with me, uh, How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. And maybe we'll go through some more of its cool details. I'll definitely be using that how to push the figure thing more. Push the figure! Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!